Today we're going to be covering integrated Tremec speed senders with new vintage USA speedometers. This applies to all Phoenix and direct drive systems. The Tremec transmissions have been popular for many years in the OE and aftermarket applications and are excellent pieces of engineering. In our experience here at New Vintage USA, using the Tremec speed signal, there are a few tricks to it. There are two ways to pick up the speed signal on the Tremec aftermarket transmissions. The first method is the OE two-wire setup. Only follow this technique if you do not have a speed signal going to the PCM. You cannot split a signal on the speed sender or it will be degraded and not be readable. For example, you can't run the speedometer and the PCM or the PCM and the cruise control. It has to be a dedicated signal to one item if it's a two-wire sender. The two-wire OE style is typically in the tail shaft housing and has a weather pack connector. These are easily found online um, at any good auto parts store. Sometimes they'll have the pigtails on them, sometimes they'll come with it. They're easy to find. As far as wiring goes, one wire is ground. Make sure to keep that ground wire good and short. Use a heavy gauge wire. And the other is the signal. It doesn't matter which wire you use. It can be wired up either way as long as one is the ground and the other is the signal. Here showing where the arrow is is usually the backup light switch. Do not use this one for your speed signal. And then on the back of the tail shaft is typically the neutral safety switch. This speed sender is a traditional two-wire OE style that generates an AC sine wave signal. As the reluctor ring spins by the sender, a voltage pulse is generated. Generally, this signal is adequate for NVU speedometers. Over the years, we have found that this signal from the Tremec sender is usually a little bit on the low side, around 1.5 volts, which is right at the threshold of most aftermarket speedometer capabilities. New Vintage USA speedometers can read a signal down to 1.5 volts, but on occasion the signal may be lower than that or just on the cusp of not being readable. NVU recommends that you set your speedometer filter on L or low to pick up the low signal. If you want to learn more about speedometer filters, please uh, check out our video on speedometer filters for a little deeper dive into that. If you notice the speedometer is not working at low speeds but then works as you go faster, they may be due to the signal being too low at low speeds. What happens is the, the amplitude or the voltage increases as the frequency increases as speed increases. So you may not see a reading at, at a low speed and you will see one at a high speed. Uh, that means that it's just too low to read at low speeds. Um, a quick check you can do on your, on your uh, speed sender to make sure it works is uh, you can use a multimeter Disconnect the signal wire from the speedometer. Make sure it's still hooked up to the sender on the trans. Place your, your multimeter on AC voltage. Red, uh, the red probe goes to the signal wire. The black goes to ground. Start driving. Uh, you'll see, start to see some voltage appear on that multimeter. The signal should be at least 1.5 volts as soon as you get going and increase in voltage as speed increases. If it is below 1.5 volts, the speedometer will not operate properly. If you want to see more videos on this, there's hundreds on YouTube. Um, so feel free to check them out if you need to. The alternative to using the OE style speed sender is to use a Ford style speed sender. We have this part number 99006-04. Uh, that'll do the trick. You will also need a Ford gear and circlip to mount on the sender. If you have a Ford vehicle, it's already ended into your cable. Just take it off and stick it back on. Uh, the number of teeth do not matter as the gauge is programmable. This generally installs in the side of the tail shaft. It's where a cable can be alternatively installed. The 99006-04 part number is just that, a Ford style cable replacement speed sender. You just need to add the Ford drive gear and circlip. Just slip the sender in and secure with the bolt and clamp. Wire is shown in the sender instructions or gauge wiring diagram. Program by driving a measured mile and you're all set. If your Tremec speed signal is feeding a PCM, EC, or other computer, the signal then must be taken from the engine management system. Most PCMs have some sort of vehicle speed output. 
Please refer to your new Vintage USA instrument instructions and the PCM wiring diagrams for more information if needed. So just to wrap this up, Tremec does make a world-class transmission for OE and aftermarket, but sometimes signal, signal challenges can arise. When using the Tremec sender, make sure the output voltage is higher than 1.5 volts and have your speedometer filter set to low. For an aftermarket sender, it installs in the optional cable output location and wires up to the speedometer. You will need a Ford-style drive gear and circlip. The number of teeth does not matter. And remember, you cannot split the speed signal with any other devices, speedometer, PCM, or cruise control. It must be dedicated to one device. If the speed signal is feeding an engine management system, the speed signal for the speedometer must come from that PCM. You can always use an NVU GPS speed sender module that would make things real easy as well. And if you have any more questions about this video or installing your instruments, uh, you can get with us anytime. Uh, email us at service at newvintageusa.com. You can call us 248-850-5482, or you can always message us on uh, Facebook or Instagram, and we'll be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.